Witch for the Wolf, a paranormal shifter romance novel by Annabelle Winters, is a tale of forbidden love, steeped in the mysticism of magic and the primal allure of werewolves. At its core, the story revolves around two main characters, a witch named Alara, who is a member of a powerful coven, and Rafe, a werewolf alpha who leads his pack with strength and determination. Alara, a young and gifted witch, adheres strictly to the laws of her coven, which have been established to avoid drawing attention to the magical community and to protect its members from the dangers of the outside world, particularly from those who would seek to do them harm, such as hunters and other supernatural entities. As part of her magical practice and heritage, she must be cautious in her use of magic and in her interactions with non-magical beings. On the other hand, Rafe is a compelling and dominant werewolf alpha who commands his pack with loyalty and fearlessness. The pack follows a rigid structure and adheres to a code that governs their lives as werewolves, ensuring their secrecy and survival. As a leader, Rafe carries the heavy responsibility of keeping his pack members safe and maintaining their territory against outside threats. The novel kicks off with an unforeseen encounter between Alara and Rafe, which takes place on neutral ground during a rare event where various supernatural factions come together. This meeting sets in motion a series of events that pull Alara and Rafe into each other's orbits, despite the strict prohibitions against fraternizing with other supernatural species, underscoring the tension between their mutual attraction and their community's long-standing rules and prejudices. A twist of fate leads Alara to unwittingly trespass into werewolf territory while gathering magical ingredients. She is discovered by Rafe, who is both intrigued and wary of the witch. Despite their initial mistrust, a strong attraction simmers between them, which neither can deny. Aware of the potential consequences, they both struggle with their desires versus their duties to their respective communities. Eventually, the conflicts escalate into something more profound as Alara and Rafe find themselves in the midst of a dangerous situation that threatens to expose the supernatural world to humans. A rival faction seeks to disrupt the fragile peace between species, and Alara's coven is implicated in a series of mysterious incidents that put Rafe's pack at risk. The suspicion and animosity among their peers grow, forcing Alara and Rafe to navigate not just their complex feelings for one another, but also the political intrigue and deception within their communities. Alara faces the challenge of proving her coven's innocence without revealing her illicit connection with the werewolf Alpha. Meanwhile, Rafe must contend with dissent within his pack and his growing fear that association with a witch could undermine his authority and endanger those he's sworn to protect. As tensions rise, Alara and Rafe's relationship deepens, evolving from a forbidden attraction to a powerful, consuming love. They discover that their bond extends beyond mere physical attraction. They share a profound connection that appears to be faded. This realization comes with its own risks, as they both know that being together could mean exile or worse from their respective societies. Their love is tested when the novel reaches its climax, where the forces opposing their union orchestrate a devastating attack meant to turn the two communities against each other. Alara and Rafe are thrust into the role of peacemakers as the only ones who can bridge the gap between witch and werewolf. They find themselves fighting not only for their love, but for the very survival of their kinds. Throughout the novel, the author weaves themes of loyalty, honor, sacrifice, and the struggle between following one's heart and upholding the dictates of one's community. Both Alara and Rafe are complex characters who must confront their internal battles and the expectations placed upon them. Their journey is fraught with moral dilemmas as they weigh the needs of the many against the desires of their hearts. The story is rich with vivid descriptions of magic and shifter lore, providing a backdrop that adds depth and texture to the tale. The witches are shown to have a deep connection to the earth and the natural world, wielding elemental powers with a strong sense of responsibility. Likewise, the werewolves embody primal energy and strength, governed by the phases of the moon and the raw, untamed power of the wilderness. As the conclusion of the story nears, Alara and Rafe leverage their unique strengths to unravel the conspiracy against them, forging alliances that were once unthinkable. 
they become symbols of unity, challenging the ingrained prejudices and demonstrating that love can break down barriers, even in the most divided of societies. The novel resolves with a precarious yet hopeful peace, as Alara and Rafe successfully prove the innocence of the coven and thwart the scheme to ignite war. Their victory comes with a heavy price, however, as they choose to leave their old lives behind to build a new life together, away from the strictures of their former communities. This choice reflects their understanding of the power of love and the strength they draw from each other. Witch for the Wolf ends with Alara and Rafe embarking on a future where they are free to explore the depths of their love without hiding in the shadows. They become a symbol of change and the possibility of harmony among supernatural beings. In this tale of passion and power, Annabelle Winters crafts a narrative that explores the entanglements of the heart and the courage it takes to defy conventions. Witch for the Wolf is a story that captivates readers with its blend of suspense, magic, and romance, distilled through the intimate lens of a witch and a werewolf who dare to cross forbidden lines for the sake of love. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.